Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, in the middle of one of the most horrific situations of all time. Not in terms of war or bloodbath, just in terms of... Uh, it is horrific because we don't recognize our fellow man. The, the people or anybody we count on as being a human being. Um, it's more like a scene from the movie Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This, in a way, is more horrific and more challenging and more mental taxing on us, mentally taxing than if, you know, the Germans were, the Germans were invading. It is, what is going on now is just, it's, it's, it's just beyond words. It's, I, I, you know, I'm at a loss for words. I mean, it's mind-boggling. It's scary. It's fascinating. It's horrific. And we're just gonna not study the screen and try to figure it out one piece at a time. Well, yes, we will, but always we're going to loop the knowledge gained back to what we need to do for ourselves. That missing step that most of the truth community doesn't go into. And look who's back. <laughs> so, yeah, it's horrific, whatever, but got to have a little fun with it. Got to have a few laughs. If not, you just, you know, you go in the mouth of madness with what's going on at our window. Become that scene. Uh, in the Mouth of Madness with the creepy Sam Neill in, in the padded room, painting the runes all over his face. So it was the contract negotiations were tough. He went off, I think I wrote, he went off to Tijuana. He had a knife fight with Rosie, the, the, the knife fighter from uh, Point Break, the movie, the original Point Break with Keanu Reeves, and uh, survived that. And he, he just was a holdout. He was... Um, he was worse on set or in terms of coming back to work than Val Kilmer. And Val Kilmer is supposed to be one of the most arrogant assholes to work with of all time. Not that I have experience in that sort of thing, just from what I... The Island of Dr. Moreau, one of the biggest disasters all around of all time. And uh, guys, I, I want to... Before we get into... Um, this video is going to be about who is, who is Andy? All right, not not as an individual. Andy, what does Andy represent in our studies here? Andy represents the masses, and the masses. What we always believe that person down the cul-de-sac, person that serves us our breakfast at the local diner, we always believe them to be the same for the most part, the same as us. It's nothing new in this truth community to throw around terms like. That person could be an NPC, a non-player character, an organic portal, something that doesn't carry a soul or a connection to spirit. But until this thing happened, we didn't really, maybe we, we didn't really believe it. We didn't believe they were that much different than us. But now we see something, people, you know, all men are created equal from the Declaration of Independence. That's simply not accurate. It's probably intentionally there to mislead. So... What is Andy, the masses, right? And will we be able to figure it out exactly? No, but that's the truth pursued to try to figure it out exactly. The idea is to get an idea of what is going on here and how we can then use it in our relationships with Andy and use it in our, in our own lives. Um, Andy's going to sit here for a few minutes. <clears throat> now... Andy is Andy being different from us has never been more apparent than during this time. Um, yes, Andy didn't want to look at 9/11, and Andy didn't want to examine how 19 guys with box cutters couldn't have done all that and achieved thousands of times over uh, what the Soviet Union did in <laughs> spending hundreds of billions of dollars in 50 years of Cold War. They achieved it in in one morning. Um, all the Soviet Union had to do was go hire, go venture out into parts of Afghanistan and hire guys to, to take the flights. That's all they had to do. Why did they create the Red October? You know, it's a billion dollars of Soviet uh, high-tech equipment. They're going to want it back, Dr. Ryan. Well, you shouldn't. You have to. Well, you didn't have to build it in the first place. They didn't have to build it in the first place if they would have just hired guys with box cutters. Well, what would that have cost? Another. One billion dollars, Mr. Powers? No, just a, ten camels per family could have got it done. I mean, why we see things so clearly, and the people around us, Andy, K 
can't, it was always kind of, um, it was frustrating to us through 9-11 and all these other, these ridiculous bang events, the parents coming out laughing, <laughs> parents getting tattoos the next morning, and it was always frustrating to us, but not, not like it is now uh, in terms of why, you know, so we put these big ass theories on the table for lack for Matt's lack of understanding why Andy just can't see that what is going on now is just un- unfathomable if you are a, a human being born as an American we our whole lives through grades 1 through 12 we're taught 1 through 12 everything's 12 we're taught um I wonder why that is right we're taught how we have rights and we this bill of rights and they'll actually quote the preamble of the bill of rights before the super bowl so we we see clearly that this is just none of this exists I mean, you can't there's no it, there, there's no um law or anything that holds up with what they taught us you can force somebody to do anything medically to wear a mask or it's just not none of it has a legal basis so the entire um i mean i, I australia doesn't have the constitution we have but i assure you they have some documents that talk about or or vaguely mention the rights of the individual there's no i'm sure there's nothing there as well as anywhere else that would allow them to be locked away in melbourne what's the difference we have the american constitution we're going to be locked away again i'll do predictions in another another time maybe later this week or friday or saturday friday or saturday potentially make sure you get the six pack drink our sorrows away the big prediction video it's not as dire it's not good but it's not it's not dire as as you would think guys this um they'll they, you know they'll hit the, the second round of the plan is coming the australian test case is taking place right now for what they will attempt to do you know the ai knows america's a lot bigger a lot more people willing to push back more guns oh yeah, about 500 million more guns so the ai is is, is using australia as a nice test case to make sure they really understand how the Andy human being will react. And is the American Andy the same as the Australian Andy? Well, there's a lot of similarities in the downloaded individual, in the people that are much different from us. But the most important part of this presentation is not figuring out exactly what Andy is, but how we can apply that you know, to ourselves. And when I wrote the book, I'm so glad um, that I, I really started writing it very quickly for us, a cataloging, a logging of the fraud for us, um, it, the back end having us understand certain things. Of course, when I started writing it, I had this list in this notebook, you know, like all these pieces of paper of all the impossible uh, frauds and all the things that they pulled off and all the things that just made no sense about the the lack of 500 videos about what happened at the top of the South Towers, and I figured there's such a endless list of fraud. Excuse me, guys. Allergies this fall have been tough. I don't think it's just the cats. Um, I was going to say there's so much fraud and so many things that just didn't add up that I have this overwhelming um, breadth of evidence I'd be able to show anybody and they would eventually come out the other side and just like we do and say you just showed me 300 things in a row that couldn't possibly happen and so Matt I, I'm just jumping on board with you this can't be this can't be real well we know they'll never they'll never come around they're just not capable of it they're not capable of it so I'm glad I ended up writing it more for us it also it is written though in, in a way that um you know, the book I, I read called A Reality Few Can See, I've changed over to the conspiracy theorists are right. I don't love that name either. I'll probably change it again. It's going to push a thousand pages soon in PDF because the cataloging of the fraud is never ending because the fraud is never ending. But I'm glad I wrote it a little bit soft in the beginning because it can be used. To, there's people that even now a few people will come into truth. You know, out of the millions of spouses that just run their scripts, don't want to listen to anything you have to say, won't acknowledge the strangeness. There's a few, a few that'll come into truth, not many anymore. It's be, I think it's becoming less and less and less. The big window, there's no doubt about it, was uh, 
2010 to 2018. Whoever came into the truth started looking at certain things as being a complete fake presentation. During that time, millions of us popped up around the world and maybe, you know, the old days in 20... Yeah, probably the heyday of Russian vids was 2014, 2015, just watching videos about the fake events. There might have been 10,000 people a day coming into what we call truth, and now it's like 10 a day. I, I think it's a trickle. I think that window is, is kind of closed, but that's just me. There could be another event or something that, that triggers it again. Um, you know, they do, they do business by their, their stars and their constellations, and right now, I don't understand it like Levette would or anything, but right now they're allowed per, per how they interpret their stars and their constellations, and they're serious, and you cannot be serious, and they, they have the permission per their stars and their constellations to go pedal the metal on on the masses right now. And don't forget, we're, we're you know, it's not just about, oh, well, we're immune. We, yeah, we are to a degree, but we're played and used and abused more than any other group. Never always think what do they want not just from that air masses what do they what do they want from the truth community what are they trying to get out of the truth community so what is what is andy representing i don't know six billion people on earth well matt don't you know the population numbers are over to, I, I don't i know i'm aware of all that stuff i'm not every once in a while in a presentation I'm, i probably will say something that the mainstream presents just to get the main point of the presentation and the concept out. So, um, what are they? Well, let's just start with the absolute basics. What am I? Yeah, we're going to talk about you, Andy. What the hell are? What the hell are you? To creepy f's running around that won't listen to us. Well, we'll start with the basics. Um, Dolores Cannon was the first one, big time to propose the NPC concept. Matt, it was around 10 years before. Okay, fine. I'm sure some people were... I'm saying Major League, doing presentation after presentation, saying Dolores Cannon, she's passed, uh, past life regression, her alkalites and followers and students um, take people into basically a hypnosis session and they remember past lives. And... The ones that have been trained in the Dolores, Dolores Cannon methods are very successful in doing it. The the amount of people they come say they come and remember past lives is a lot. So I don't know exactly how that works. I have no experience in that. But the point is, let's just stay with the point of this presentation. She was the first one to say you go, you go to an airport and it's packed. Most of those people there are not real. They're not real. No, they're not real at all. They're background people. But there's a lot of ways even to interpret that first level, the NPC level. Also, you could call it organic portal. Um, you know, there there's a lot of ways to interpret that. Is it background people, literally creations like a video game of a matrix, or excuse me, are things much more real and physical? And every every most most people coming into truth that have different areas of expertise would agree that something needs to animate the body. Okay, this is you get into the body, the avatar, which in a way is you, but in a way is not you at all. You run up the driveway, you have no idea how the muscles are firing, you have no idea how the body chooses to, when it needs to sweat, sweat glands, it all happens ways you just, you as you have no idea. So is it you or is it not you? But something needs to animate the avatar, um, unless it's a complete video game. Okay, that is, I will not, I'm never going to take Matrix off the table. I've seen too many things that just were what I'm going to call reality breakdowns. I could talk for hours about absolute reality breakdowns, that things that just couldn't happen. The eclipse by itself is a reality breakdown. So I'm not going to take Matrix off the table. But if it's anything else but Matrix, and there's a degree of anything we know of as physical, no matter what you believe about collapsing the wave, wave function or not, then the smartest people all agree that something needs to animate the avatar. This is where you get into the concept of soul. So soul, um, let's just, again, the, the smartest people here agree, soul is a lower level thing. Soul, 
would animate the avatar. We have a soul as real people coming into truth, and they would say Andy has a soul. Okay, but Andy, uh, but what animates the soul is 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 different. The smartest people would say. And what what what? Why do I keep saying that? Who would say that? I don't know exactly. I I have certain individuals, certain philosophies. I'm a disseminator of information at this point. I've have my my nose to it, my ear to it for ten years, uh, and I can communicate, communicate it out where, where you know in, in a way that kind of makes sense. Where exactly all this is coming from, I would even have a hard time explaining because I've heard it in so many different places over the years. But we have a soul, and he has a soul. Soul needs to be animated. The the not the I mean the body, the avatar needs to have a spark and animation. But the source of that soul is different. Um, so the best the best way to you know again a, a, an amalgamation of everything I've heard and and I have a good tuning fork a good inner knowing and this makes absolute sense this doesn't hold water we have a we'll keep you've heard me say a connection to something outside of here a connection to what's called spirit spirit is the greater thing over soul the way I understand it so Andy has no connection. To if, if Andy is an NPC person, could be your best friend, could be your mother. There's no just because because if I'm real, does that mean that my mother and father have to be real? Absolutely not. In my opinion, my experience, um, uh, people I've talked to in person, people I've emailed back, people that have told me they they remember their soul coming into their body at a young age, remember the experience, every bit of it. So um, you know, pe- the person listening to this knows who I'm talking about. Um, and that's been confirmed in, in different degrees by others. So Andy um, ha- has a soul, but a soul is like is is confined to third dimension, and some people would say fourth dimension, whatever whatever that is. So we have a soul that animates, but there's a, a spiritual connection that's outside of here, whatever this thing is, outside of here, and it's something most people agree that they haven't completely. Horcrux is here, completely trapped us, a Saturn moon matrix, prison planet. No, there's a, we're connected to something. The big, the war that's going on is, will we use this lifetime to be drawn towards it? To strengthen the rainbow bridge? The bridge from uh, Thor and Odin, Norse myth, not the Castro district? Strengthen the, the rainbow bridge, bridge or will we... The, the reality just wants us to cut it, to take a jackhammer out and cut it off constantly. And the only tie is probably trying to get us to tie into where Andy is tied into. She's just rooted to this place, the, his soul attachment, what's what he thinks is important in life. It wants us to constantly create our own chains and ties to this place. So if you follow that line of thought, it, it seems like one of the main goals of reality is to ha- turn us into Andy perhaps maybe it's that simple <clears throat> cut off spiritual tie we then become Andy who he can only tell you about all the awards and merits that this reality has given him like his his second speedboat second speedboat you got a second speedboat good job buddy um you know his uh, awards at work his awards in his gigantic massive Joe Ovaltine church um his sexual pursuits and and uh Escapades, escalades, icecapades, whatever. So that's all. That, but it seems to want to turn us in. So Andy has a soul too. But some people would say that um, it's called a, the the animating spirit is um, <clears throat> something like the natural spirit, <clears throat> or similar to the. I mean, the natural, <clears throat> not spirit. Um, oh, I'm I'm getting the 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 terminology wrong. But whatever incarnates animals potentially excuse me <clears throat> I can remember but Hillary Clinton can't I do have a mute button here Matt which I just seem to never understand I think my fear is I hit it I won't remember to turn it back on excuse me sorry I don't think it's just the cats. I just this allergy season in the, in the fall can be real, and I don't really have too many bad allergies. But it's been it's been tough two weeks. Although I do have the two new cats I got from the nursing home are long hairs, and 
And I used to be highly allergic to cats. That's another story, how that just disappeared. Almost like it was meant to be. I was highly allergic, would wheeze. But it seems to be gone. So, um, we all both have souls, but the root of it comes from somewhere else. All right? So, when we're one of the main points of this video, we should just get into it, is... I mean, we, we, what's the main question posed? Andy, can he just can't see anything that we see. Whether it be our spouse, it could be a father, a mother, a best friend. I struggle with, remember that person I call Tony? Not, not Tony who gives me great information about, about how the, you know, the, diff, the minions work here and all, but my friend Tony, who I was best friend in his wedding. Again, uh, guys, I've told you... From he, you come into a party, he becomes kind of the life of the party. Not a clown, he's very smart, intelligent. Every job he's ever done, high degree of intelligence at Penn State. Um, I would always study hard, and he kind of would waltz in and take the test and do pretty much as well as I would do. He, was, he didn't do much of anything, but he, you know, I did really well because I, I you know, I, I was devoted to it. I, I, you know, but he would, it would piss me off. He, I would get an A because I put five hours into the studying. He'd waltz in and get a B plus. I mean, basically just read a few pages a few you know hours before whatever maybe not that lax but more like that so this guy is no dummy and excuse me um you know it's not it has nothing to do with intelligence why these people can't see they're doctors lawyers and we get into um the old truth or explanations um you know matt it's the mind control how you know it's the 5g and the mind control and and yeah it, it is mind control why why they can't see what we can see but but and and it is you know remember i've talked about taking the download but really what it gets down to is what type of person can be mind controlled or is susceptible to the download somebody that's not like you somebody that's just completely potentially a different thing I'm sorry if that could be, you know, my father or somebody's father or somebody's brother or somebody's wife or husband. But guys, there's almost no other way to explain how people just can't see the stuff to us. It's it's not it's just so basic. It's so obvious to us that we have dropped these these veils. And it is we've always kind of talked about it as well they, Andy has all these veils, and if Andy were able to drop them all, then Andy would see what we see. And it might, you know, we, we'd like to think that, guys, but again, back to what Dolores Cannon said, and a lot of smart people say now, that the, you go into an airport, you know, one of these things is not like the other, or all men are created equal, it was probably meant to mislead. There, there's a lot of different type of people. And most of the, whatever they are, Maybe maybe they once had a connection to something outside of here like like we do, and they, over their choices in a lifetime or many lifetimes, cut it off. So then they became a, become a completely downloaded individual. We don't ever, we'll never know. Okay, but the main point is, let's just go to step three and the three steps. How do we use that for ourselves? First off, we finally understand and... God, I know nobody should yell at me for making the people are um, people know nothing series, which I'll throw one or two in from time to time. Um, we first thing we should understand about these people is they will never see it. We'll never see it. And why should we? You know, I sent an email to someone yesterday. We were going back and forth on this, and I kind of it kind of came to me. Maybe this is kind of mean, and we shouldn't do this. But I thought. Well, you have a pet, right? You have a, somebody might have a dog, and they love that dog, of course. Uh, Jeff and uh, Etta, um, of course, you know, love that dog more than most people. You're more, more people, you, most people you ever will love in your life, and that's you know, people can have that relationship even with the cats. I think it's more common with a dog because there's more personality. Although, you know, my Belle, who's now gone, you know, was the same type of thing. But I'm never, I'm not, when Belle was here, I'm never going to go scream at her or try to get in her face about not seeing 9-11. But I still can love Belle 
and Bill gives me certain things. And guys, it's really bad, but this is this is the way we have to see uh, the quote loved ones around us or even friends. Um, I'm not there yet with Tony and some of these. I mean, I'm completely frustrated because it's with an animal. He goes, well, it's an animal. It's mad. It's not supposed to see. We have no expectations. And this person you talk about, he, you know, could waltz in and, and do no homework and basically get the same grade that you got and this and that. And, you know, shouldn't we expect more? But why? Why should we expect more? We know now they can't see it. They never will see it. They're susceptible to being a downloaded individual. We don't. How does the download work? How does the 5G amplify it? Does it? Is that even? Is that a red herring? Is it? Is it potentially pointing at the screen is worthless anymore? Exactly. Spending my life researching the exact role of 5G and how that will, uh, how that facilitates the download, or it's just not. It's pointless anymore. I will look at part one or I will look at the screen only in as much as it immediately tells me a little bit about step two, what does that say about the nature of reality itself, and then immediately moves me on to step three. Well, once I understand a little bit about reality, what does that tell me about who I am, how much energy I possess or power I possess, or um, why do they want to mislead me and trick me all the time if I don't have a real tie to something called higher self or spiritual self. So I, I will not look at the screen anymore unless it immediately leads, leads me to step two and step three. So as an example, we'll get back to Andy in a second. Um, the, the, my favorite um, exercise that we won't stray because it's a 20-minute exercise about there should be minimum uh, 350 to 500 videos of something happening happening to the, to the top of the South Tower. Whether you think planes, no planes, of course, I, I believe no plane, not of course, but it just because more and more years go by, the no planes um, becomes almost obvious to me. Now, how that, how that could have been pulled off is not human. It's not the, the regular minions that we know or that would be like you that have to eat and sit down and do whatever at night and, and you know those types of, it's not there's no way normal people could have pulled that off this is not possible it's not human but nevertheless we're talking about the, the there should be um, 350 to 500 videos of something happening to the south tower whether it was a plane or not if there was no plane then there should be hundreds of people that pop up years later that said I had a, a video of it and there's nothing it just blew up there's nothing that came in at all look and I understand who are they going to take the video to. They're going to take it to Anderson Cooper. He's going to show it. But something would have squeaked out somewhere. The Google bot in 2006, 2007, 2008 or whatever was not that sophisticated. Where if you load a 9-11 video, it's going to immediately know it is and cut it off. Maybe today, but I don't believe it. Something would have squeaked out. And they've kind of like somehow they've – it's like the Adjustment Bureau, the movie with Matt Damon, who always plays himself. He don't play no characters. He plays Matt Damon, sometimes thin, sometimes a little a fat Matt Damon, like a fat Lawrence Fishburne, but or, or it's a CGI Matt Damon. Matt Damon sitting there in Mar on Mars by himself, talking to himself the first hour of the movie, like I just, just oh I can't wait for Matt Damon to make another uh, recording, lo uh, Captain Picard log entry to himself. Isn't this wonderful? He's sitting there with his shirt kind of open and his chest muscles, CGI central. <laughs> Excuse me, CGI Central. That wasn't him. Wasn't him. He uh, took the easy way out. Because you want me to go on an eight-week Brad Pitt steroid regimen with hard training like he did before the movie Troy? Can't you just CGI my chest and make it look good? Yeah, we can do that. Go, go, uh, go out to Waffle House. Enjoy yourself, Matt. Excuse me. Anyway. Um... Hillary Clinton can't remember to do that. <laughs> People believe it's real. Um, so the point is about the top of the South Tower, it's worth looking at. It is worth looking at. Because you say, well, wait a second, what does that tell you about reality itself? There's no way normal people 
could have pulled that off. Clamp down reality with an adjustment bureau where all the, the videotapes. And guys, again, I, I, I'd love to I'd do it some other time, anybody struggling. When the first tower was hit or whatever, there would have been tens of thousands of people with the camera pointed up in that general direction. Tens of thousands. Not 500 or 800. Tens of thousands would have been pointed. There was 15 minutes for people to get their video. Tens of that, so, so 350 to 500 should be conservative. We should have closed to a thousand, and there's four that look decent. Total about 12 to 14 total, which of course is all CGI. But this is a reality breakdown. There's no way regular people could pull that off. Nope. Sorry, I've looked at it too closely over too many years. It's not human. It's the best way to put it. Not human. Is that that's from Star Trek? That big beast like monster can you say puny human is that from predator no whatever um the guy in star trek i'm thinking of looks like the predator maybe that's where they got it from but uh i'm so, so nervous or something or so on edge or, but i just snapped off one of andy's buttons it's creepy Andy, you sit over here buddy i'm gonna end up ripping your head off and the stuffing will come out soon um it's a reality breakdown which immediately we can use it in step two and say what does that tell us about reality itself? Well, that couldn't be pulled off. There's things going on here beyond our comprehension. There's things that constantly want to manipulate us into believing a certain thing. So then we can go on to step three and say, I, I, I can understand being, you know, the reality being a trick, a lie, whatever. But to go to the lengths of 9-11 to pull it off, to manipulate us, it tells me I'm a pretty powerful individual. They didn't just go to the lengths of 9-11 to uh, facilitate Lockheed Martin and Raytheon contracts so they could wage their war. Of course, that was part of it. But that was the, the whole um, people getting rich by more military contracts and United Technologies will get paid for the next 10 years. That was tertiary. That's not the, the reason. You want to, okay, when you get more primary and secondary reasons, so Matt, more war leads to more of their blood sacrifice. And yeah, they, they like that too, but it, it was overall, to me, it was a ritual to basically almost move reality itself off its foundation and kind of set up what's going on now. But that's, let's do, we'll do that speculation um, some other time. So why, if, you know, if you don't yell at your dog to wake up to 9 11 or you're, why shouldn't we be treating the people in the Andes around us the same way? I mean, why shouldn't we? If we truly believe that they don't have the same type of spirit or ad animating behind that connection to, to, to animating soul, I meant connection to spirit, then if we just, we should see them in a different, just in a completely different way if we want to maintain and continue to have a relationship with them. And it's terrible and I, I don't know why it's maybe it's not terrible but why not what why should it be any different than your dog because i assure you a lot of people listening to this like might say i love this i love my dog more than most or all of my relatives a lot of people would say that so treat your relatives like your dog say treat them as you would treat treat them just like you would treat um is that peckerwood boy looks down Looks down with the glass. Jerry. That's right, Jerry. You treat him just like you would Jerry. Yeah, treat your treat your relatives just like you would Andy or your dog. And then you just is it I mean, this is a pretty bad solution, guys. I I, I but if you truly believe they're just not capable of seeing anything and they're downloaded individuals, are we gonna get on them? And you know, I my mother last night was talking about um, certain things and it was very relevant and I, I brought up well in Australia and Melbourne they're like, like locked away with no rights and they're not allowed to leave their homes more than an hour to get a day to get food and and it just and I was trying to you know again pr press that upon her but I, I know you know what she did is just make an excuse of some kind they'll so let's get into you know the main traits of of an Andy. Uh, of course, they just can't see anything we see. But the the main trait of an Andy, which I'll call a downloaded individual, somehow the minion assholes here, on behalf of the reality itself, or behalf of whatever what you want to call, stands behind the screen. Um, 
you know, Christians would say Satan or whatever. They found a way to, you know, in, in methods and techniques that we don't understand to completely download and manipulate the masses to a degree that we just couldn't, we can't fathom before. This, this revealed so much what's going on now. And we know how, to, you know a downloaded individual because they'll run the same scripts over and over again. And you don't need, once they run a few scripts, you know who you're dealing with. Once you know you're dealing with an Andy, then um, there's no point in continuing to press anything upon them or talk about truth. So we could just try it right now with Andy. You know, Andy's, he's, Andy, you haven't really said anything. You're getting, you know, under new contract, you're getting paid, buddy. You're getting, yeah, you're styling and profiling. You're getting paid a lot to do this. So participate, son of a bitch. Um, Andy, um, how do you explain the 50,000 cases and, I don't know, 50,000 deaths in New York? I don't keep track of it, whatever. But how do you explain through June 1st four deaths in Hong Kong? They know how to handle it over there. They know how to handle it? What does that mean? Weren't they, weren't the, the Hong Kong trains and subways and going back and forth or just when nobody even knew there was anything in December of 2019? Weren't they just as crowded as always and 10,000 a day going to Wuhan? Well, they weren't, see, even if they did know how to handle it, Andy, there was nothing that, there was no nobody pointed at any any illness to handle there was nothing to handle there's that the four week period in december or or or, or through mid-november through december where nobody in china would have known about it it would have spread in these crowded conditions right now they're not capable to remember the other parts of andy andy's not capable of saying that's an interesting point i'll think about it they're not you're not capable of saying that it's always another script or if if they blue screen glitch he'll just turn and walk away he can't say, like I, I said, just I just yelled at my friend Tony yesterday via email. I just said to him, I said, you're just not capable of 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 ever saying, Matt. You know, that's actually a good point, but I'm not gonna, you know, just I'm not gonna agree with you. But they're not capable of even that. They can never give an inch. They can never give a millimeter. So, um, you know, the the main script of all time, though, the point of, the, of this part, the main script of all time for these people, if you, if they give you this, you, you basically know what you're dealing with. The main script of all time is, you know, some, some of these people are polite, whatever they are. They're polite, they'll listen, they'll watch even some videos, and um, they'll, they'll all come back to the same thing, whether it be a, a fake event or space what's going on now 911 they'll come back with this in the end of the day what difference does it make maybe that's why hillary put that forth that was a prelude they say i ken ken just said it to me the other day i still got to wake up in the morning and pay the bills pam all the time yeah i kind of see that mandela effect but in the end i still got to get up and put food on the table it doesn't affect my life they, they they always go into the script of well okay you know I had somebody with 911 say I use the the brick example well, if I stack up 10 you know sometimes you just kind of put them in a box and then you blue screen them but they'll still run their scripts and find a way out of the blue screen they'll reboot themselves if you blue you can blue screen them but they quickly reboot or they'll walk away and then the reboot happens as they walk away and you come back like it, like you never made any gains or any strides at all with them at all. So I, I like stacked up nine bricks. I said, well, tower one, if you just remove the ninth brick and then you just drop the tenth brick down onto the eighth, well, what happens to the eight bricks? Nothing. It's like um, that scene in, in Jarhead. What happens when you get past the ninth level of Metroid? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Can I warm up your nuts, sir? Um, I like Jarhead. Um, it's got some weird ass scenes, but I like Jarhead. So I blue screened the person. I said, "Well, yeah, I can see how if you just drop, see the collapse start real high up on North Tower. There's not enough up top to push push down. The equivalent of dropping a few packs of marshmallows. There's not enough to push down through the whole thing. You just pull out the ninth brick, drop the tenth on the eighth, and nothing, nothing happens. Person saw that." 
and then just was like then they blue screen and, and the, the main script is well, okay but what does that mean what am I supposed to do I got to go to work tomorrow and it's just a way of sloughing it off and um, I think a real maybe maybe you know it's maybe it's not an NPC an organic portal maybe it's um, there are other explanations for what for what Andy is uh, new souls people talk about new souls old souls you know they just need more experiences not not in this lifetime other lifetimes if that's the case thousands potentially more old souls versus new souls they're just not ready for whatever that means they just won't ah oh, I gotta get you know what even if you're right what am I supposed to do go down and fight it go go load up my pellet gun and it's just a way of you know there's just a way of sloughing it off when, when you hear that guys because a real individual a real soul real spirit and or old soul someone that you know kind of wants this to be their last go around their last rodeo wants to excuse me wants to connect out of here or get out of here upon death says you know whoa what you know they immediately kind of go to step two well, yeah that that really happened how could that have happened what kind of entities could have pulled that off and then and then but, but they it'll take them a long time to get to step three what does that mean about myself that's why 99 point whatever a very high number percent of the truth community the videos that have ever been made since 2008 they never go off step one it's just this is a fraud and this is fake and okay there's merit to that but they never go on to step two what does that say about reality itself step three what does that tell me about myself never and you can't say 99.9 .9, because Matt's dropping them that would be dropping Matt's dropping a 666 but what about all the good information he's provided over the last 10 years? You just He drops one number backwards, you think he's dropping a number and you're going to abandon the channel? Yeah, if he drops one number, or if he says 133, it doesn't matter all the good information he, he gave. It's just like Bill Clinton. <laughs> he says, um, well, it, it depends on what the word, or your definition of the word is, is. That's an ISIS. That's an, when, you, when you say is, is, that's an, you're dropping an ISIS. Well, he probably well, I'm serious. He was dropping an ISIS, but if a regular person, your butcher, your baker, your candlestick maker says that he ain't dropping no ISIS, just like I ain't dropping no six six six. We're kind of conditioned to say ninety nine point nine, whatever. But the truth channels. Okay, this is fake. Okay, that's why they're. That's why the system is very, very tolerant, or has been very tolerant, of these pursuits, of graduated animal farms. Well, they, there's somebody over here in this farm saying this is fake, that's fake, this is fake, that's fake okay, well that's wonderful they're never going to be able to convince the Andes and it's still, they're not even using it to, to find out what does that mean about themselves Matt, what, is, what does a fake bang event have to do with myself a lot, a lot and it doesn't, it's not just that you just, it's, again when you see the, the whole reality, the lengths that it goes to, it's to beyond that, I was going to say the lengths it goes to lie, cheat, manipulate, deceive, get you to, to, to walk down Robert Frost's uh, road more traveled, to do everything you shouldn't do, it goes out of its way, but it's beyond that, it's not like it just works really hard to screw you over spiritually and that tells you about yourself, it's the whole reality has to do that, it's the mechanism that's here. You know, it's not like it does it on the side or as a nice hobby that it tries to sell on Etsy. It's whole the whole mechanism that is in place here is to it seems like to turn you into this. You know, it's like that's like that reminds me of the scene in the Matrix to turn a human being into a battery. Yeah, basically the same thing to a degree. That wasn't that wasn't a thin Lawrence Fishburne. That wasn't a fat Lawrence Fishburne. That was like an in between Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> it wasn't yet Captain Miller or the or the real real out of shape Lawrence Fishburne from Biker Boys. I like Biker Boys, but um, <laughs> oh boy, how long have I been talking? Well, I, I restarted recording again, so it only says three minutes. Um, 
so guys, um, just to wrap this up. Okay, there is no... Once somebody determines, shows you that this is what they are, there is no getting through to them, unfortunately. There's a lot of ways to determine who you're dealing with. The scripts they run and their ability to see or not see, things like that. But once you're... Once you're, once you're, you then you have just two choices: either remove them from your life because you just can't handle it, which, which I've done to a lot of degree with a lot of my friends. And if I get back together with them, if we could ever get together again without a mask or whatever, they're going to be all they're going to be talking about their business and their promotions and their you know they're wrangling, wrangling, trying to do the rat race. That's a big part. They're all in the same industry. I got to sit through that. So uh, Matt, you're just jealous. Yeah, <laughs> jealous. I left the I left those jobs in 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 the in 2002. I walked away. Um, but you know, if we could ever get together without a mask, I can either walk away and never be with them again, or I can literally just say, "This is I have to just I love my dogs or I love my cats. This this is a different entity. It doesn't matter how real it is. They could tell better jokes than me at a party or." It just it's not the same as me for whatever reason. And is it, you know, if you want to take the the positive versus the negative, doesn't mean they're doomed. You can say this is a, a new soul and they have a lot of a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Um and fortunately not just all it's not going to happen in this lifetime. A lot of work to do in a few thousand more or like the Buddhists would say or or you know or somewhere else. But we're we're positioned, you know, potentially for the big win. You know, we we think we're on the path to potentially doing enough to getting out of here upon our death. Okay, I don't think if we were in the same position, there's consequences to this life. And I'm I'm not saying traditional Christian heaven and hell. I have a different belief set. There's a different con. There's consequences. If we believe we we're just in the same boat, and knew that deep down, we wouldn't be going through all that we've gone through to try to learn something. About first we study the reality, then we study ourselves. We wouldn't be going through all this if, you know, everybody at our whether it be Andy or completely downloaded individual. Um, at, my, at this person's death, that person's death, my death, we all get the same yellow Auschwitz star at death and you're, gonna, you're all going to then go off and do the same it's a small world ride over here well, I spent my whole life determined to uh, what I'm looking at uh, pursuing truth justice in the American way well truth yes justice to a degree the American way no but but um, not the American way as he would see it we'd, we'd, we'd certainly like to bring back the American way the way we would like to see it but we'll take. We're not. We don't. Uh, we don't. We don't aim too high anymore. Just at getting together with a group of real human beings without a mask, in somewhat of a close proximity. Um, you know, aim high, Air Force. We. I. My aim is very low at this point. Just to be able to commune with real people again at some point in my life. That's that's the extent of my my goals and aspirations. But we'll take it one step at a time. So. Um, choose to walk away from them or choose to see them as completely different and just you know just uh, find the five things where you enjoy each other's company or with some people you have old friendships it would be just kind of past experiences is always you know you can you always have that in common at least so um, thanks for listening guys oh last thing um, maybe I'll talk more about it in the future I will post the name of the Black Mirror episode, which I forget now at the end of this video. But I watched another Black Mirror, Netflix series, Black Mirror. Um, I'll post it at the end. It's about um, the soldier who is hunting these things called roaches, I think they're roaches. But he has a chip implant, so he sees them like The Walking Dead. He sees them as zombies. And um, once his chip implant goes down, he sees them... He's hunting regular humans, and it is, it's just a truth drop. I mean, I don't even know what to call it. Truth drop, you have the brain implant, but you have, you have these roaches. It's just like our biggest fear is on 
how we would be treated without the action Jackson nation. It's I'll I'll post the name of the episode. And but but again, guys, I always I I immediately bring it back to step two and step three. Like so, now we have another predictive element in another TV show or in another movie or in another cartoon or in another poem. And you get to the point where, well, what are we up to, Matt? Including the Peter Stuyvesant uh, commercial. We're up to, what, a few thousand of these predictive things showing us exactly how, starting with the big ones in Brave New World in 1984. What kind of reality <laughs> could pull that off? If you want to just call it Donald Sutherland non-human, you could do that. But it just, it's not human. It can't be called in. Director's meeting from at the Illuminati window saying what's truth needs to be delivered today and keep it's kept quiet if nobody ever nothing ever leaks it's just uh you know it's and if and, if, and i don't i i it's why i always will say you know fluid reality matrix the, the the puppeteers have their hands on reality levers and buttons and like the adjustment bureau the guy go the he, they're trying to adjust matt damon's life path and if they make even a little bit of a mistake they'll just walk through a Waffle House door in um, Birmingham, Alabama, and they'll emerge through the Waffle House in Atlanta, Georgia. Just they just have these um, magical techniques or a technology, and um, you know the Adjustment Bureau. I don't even know why the hell I was talking about that. The Adjustment Bureau. I don't know. It's a good way to end. Oh, the um, the Black Mirror episode will be posted at the end. And um, it's yeah, the, it's very. Uh, I know what I was going to say the um, the reality um, pulls this stuff off like the Adjustment Bureau in ways that are beyond what we understand or comprehend um, the laws of physics to be how anything could be pulled off by anything we we can tr- we consider to be a real world. So um, you know, you you see. You see these things, and you immediately have to get to step two, which tells you a lot about yourself. Step three. Thanks, guys.